Now that we've studied functions and polymorphism, it's time to return to binary operators to see a little more about how they work. We've already seen that we can add together two numbers with the plus operator, which we write as infix. It goes in between its two arguments. If you wrap a binary operator in parentheses, it actually becomes a function. And since it's a function, we write it as a prefix application. That is, the function shows up before its arguments. So I can write plus one, two in that way. And this works for any binary operator, although the one you have to be careful with is the multiplication operator. O'Camel is like, what's going on here? I'm waiting for you to type more things. And that's because parenthesis star actually opens a comment. So O'Camel parses this as thinking all of the characters to the right here are just part of a comment and it's waiting for me to close that comment. Therefore, it's good habit when you treat operators as functions to put a space in between the parenthesis and the operator symbol itself. Now we have a prefix application of the multiplication operator. And so honestly, I should probably be writing my first application with plus there in the same way. Sometimes I get lazy though and forget to put those extra spaces in. I can do this with any operator, including the equality operator. That operator has type alpha arrow alpha arrow bool. It is a polymorphic comparison. It allows me to compare any two first arguments as long as they have the same type. So I can compare one to two because those are both integers, but I can't compare one to false because they have different types. And that's true whether I'm writing that as prefix or infix. I can write one equal two. I can write one equal false, but that won't type check. The inequalities are also polymorphic. Less than has type alpha arrow, alpha arrow bool. You can compare any two values with it. This is something to be a little careful with. It's perfectly fine to use these polymorphic comparison operators to compare primitive values, but when we get to larger kinds of data structures, they aren't necessarily the right kind of comparisons to be using. Maybe you really want to code up your own more meaningful comparison operators on bigger data structures. I can define my own infix binary operators if I want to. For example, suppose I were working with a max function. As it turns out, max is already built into the standard library of OCaml. You give it any two values of the same type alpha, and it gives you back the bigger one according to the comparison operator. So what's the max of one and two? It is of course two. Suppose you wanted an infix operator for max. You can have that. We'll have to pick some punctuation to define it as. Um, I'm gonna decide that I like this as an operator, infix operator for maximum because it kind of looks like an arrow pointing up. So let that operator be the max of x and y. Now this won't quite compile yet. I've got a syntax error. In order to define an infix binary operator, I actually have to wrap it in parentheses. So there's some consistency there. Now I've got a new infix operator. And in fact, OCaml did what I should be doing and put spaces around it as well. Let me go back and do that just so it's a little easier to read. And now I can use that infix operator to compute maxes. So one max two is two. Now notice when I write it as infix, there's no parentheses around it. When I write it as prefix, as I did in the definition up here, there are parentheses around it. The rules for how to form infix punctuation operators are a little complicated. They're in the OCaml manual. There are certain kinds of punctuation you're allowed to use and some kinds that you're not.